What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick Bartell, Editor-in-Chief for Techno Warriors TV, and welcome to the video review of the EVGA CLC360 Liquid Cooling Kit or CPU Cooler. Now, this is the high-end line of EVGA CLC Cooling 9, and a big shout-out to EVGA's Jacob Freeman for sending this out to the show. Now, I know it's been delayed. I've been going through a lot of health issues and technical issues. And the mic that we have usually, it's a Rode Video mic, it's a Rode Video Go. It's having, a, it's having some issues. So I'm, please don't yell at me if I have to use the onboard microphone, okay? So don't yell at me or anything like that, okay? I'm going to get a new mic, I'm probably gonna, I'm. I'll probably go get a new cable for it tomorrow or sometime this week. But yes, a big shout out to him and a big shout out to everybody for their support. So thank you so much. Now, EVGA's CLC360 is one bonkers cooler. This is 160 US dollars, okay? There is three 120 millimeter fans on this, okay? And the water block here or the, the block here is made by Asetek, or as see, or Aztec, yeah, Asetek. So it's really cool, it's cool by Asetek. You got a really cool EVGA logo on the front that lights up RGB, some really gorgeous sleeve tubing, three 120 millimeter EVGA fans, and they are brilliant, brilliant fans. Now, I, they have their EVGA, control software and we talked about that in the old and the in the old school review of this one this uh two fan version which is 240 millimeters so yes their software is really really nice adjustable pump fan speed which pump and pump and fan speed which makes it really really nice now specs um premium premium retention parts for intel it supports all the latest processors from AMD and Intel. Fully controllable, controlled, fully controlled, controllable RGB LED. The noise level is 20 dBA max. So that's how. That's how. That's how big it is. Now, radiator wise, 360 by 120 by 27 millimeters. So yes, it's just a radiator without its fans. If you put some fans on there, it'll probably be a little bigger. So, but remember. Check your casing. So, you get a five-year limited warranty, which is awesome. Make sure to register it. Um, features all-in-one water cooling, intelligent um, wiring system, and sleeve tubing, Okay, which is really, really nice. Teflon Nano bearing inside the fan reduces noise and increases lifespan, which is really awesome. 500 to 2400 RPM. 74.82 CFM max, the stack pressure is 4.04, and the noise level is 16 dBA minimum to 39. dBA max. The lifespan is 80,000 hours, so it's pretty insane. It's really, really, really nice. Let me take a closer look at this water block with you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a closer look, now, look at this. It's going to sit inside your system kind of like this. Or however you have you mounted. And there is thermal paste on here. Okay, and that's why I have this covered. That way so I don't get grease everywhere and everything before I even mount the system. Now, the cool thing about this, all you do is open it and you expose everything. Now, the only tricky part is if you got to swap your mounting. So if you got to go to AMD... You put, pretend this is your AMD plate. You put that on, you wrench it like this, and you're good to go. So, if you do have trouble with this, follow my directions. So if you see right here and here, you take both these sides and crank it to the left, like this, okay? And that way, you can make sure it's good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit um, about the actual performance about this. Now, I'm going to go ahead with that little micro... It's actually a mini USB. That's pretty cool. Um, a mini USB 
connector, which is really, really nice. And when it's inside your system, you can do a, a top or a side mounted radiator, which is really, really cool. This, this thing looks absolutely amazing. Uh, Jacob Freeman, a big shout out to you. Thank you so much for sending this out to the studio. Uh, another big shout out, the reason why, is because they've got these pre-mounted, which is absolutely awesome. A lot of these radiators, some you know, some of these radiators come pre-mounted, but some of them don't. There are some where you have to manually add the fans yourself. So, but as you can see right here, this is looking really, really sharp. Now, how do the fans on the EVGA CLC360 sound? They sound great because the CLC360 actually has the same components as the CLC240. So as you can see here, we have a 240 right here. Okay, as I hit my finger on the fan, but this is how loud they are. And I'm sorry about the mic, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get that replaced tomorrow or when I can. But you can see it's really, really, really quiet. So is the pump. Now, as you can see over here inside of our machine, that's what it'll look like. With the RGB lighting on the EVGA logo, looking real nice there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to tell you what I thought about the CLC360, EVGA's 360 millimeter version of the CLC or closed loop cooling series of water cooling kits or all one kits. Some people call them liquid coolers or AIOs. I just call it CPU cooler, essentially. What did I think about this liquid cooler? I thought it was absolutely amazing. It's very, the pump is very quiet. The tubing it's nice and sleeved it's very very nice quality it runs off of micro usb c which is really cool and the fans are there they're not rgb but the evga logo on the pump is the fans themselves are actually fairly quiet yes they can get loud at full volume but they're still very nicely performing how did I think about the EVGA's flow, flow control software? I thought it was very, very nicely well done. You could change the RGB lighting settings from it, which is really, really cool. And you can change your pump settings, your fan settings. You can see what your temperatures are for your CPU. It is absolutely really nice. EVGA did a really nice job with that. Would I change anything about this cooler? Hmm... Maybe down the line, I would add maybe some RGB fans, but knowing e Jacob Freeman, he loves RG he likes RGB to an extent. Other times, you want it to be stealth. You want to fit that stealth because you want your fans to be quiet. I like RGB when it's nice and colorful and tasteful, not a distracting light show. So nice job on the fans. Maybe we could see an RGB fan version down the line would be really cool. But this is an AIO, which is absolutely amazing. It's well recommended. If you're looking for an all EVGA build, you're looking for a nice good cooler that's made by Aztec, A-S-T-E-K. They make really amazing stuff. Aztec pump, very nice radiator, very nice tubing. Everything's whisper quiet, and the fun RGB lighting on the logo is great. Overall, this gets another 10 out of 10 at Techno Warriors Editor's Choice. Congratulations to EVGA for making another great product. Also, as you can see, I've got my EVGA shirt on, which is the cool EVGA 20th anniversary Shirt, awesome graphics since 1999. That's right. These guys haven't been going since the since the late 90s. Late, 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 late 90s. So congratulations. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video review of the EVGA CLC360 liquid cooler. If you like this video, you know what to do. Strangle that subscribe button. How right in the kisser. Have a wonderful day, guys.